Are you tired of on Amazon Fire Stick when you are going on these websites, uh, streaming on these websites, and all the ads are popping up, and they're just annoying? Well, I'm going to show you how to block that. Hello, welcome back to my channel, Stream and Go. In this video, I'm going to present presenting to you an app that blocks all those annoying ads when you're on your Fire Stick, and we're going on these websites, and you're streaming on some of these websites, ad popping up at the ad, um, I have clicked on an ad, and as soon as I clicked on one, trying to hurry up and click on what I need to, here goes another ad. Well, let's go ahead, and I'm going to show you how to um, install this app on your file stick to present all of that. But before we get started, I want you to please like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, don't forget to hit that notification bell to receive my weekly videos about the file stick. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, we'll be starting from the beginning. Um... To install the download because you will need to download the app. Um, I always like to start from the beginning. Um, I know a lot of you may already have the download app, and if you do, just skip through the video. But I always have some new people come in, and they may not have the download app, so that's why I always like to start from the beginning on most of all of my videos because some people still may not have that download app. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do, we want to go over the settings. Now, once we go over the settings, we want to go over to My Fire TV. Now, once we go to My Fire TV, we're going to highlight it. And we're going to click it and go down to Developer Options. And once we got Developer Options highlighted, let's click on it. And this is what we want to do. We see ADB debugging and apps from unknown sources. We want to turn both of those on. So, we'll turn um, ADB debugging on. Apps from unknown sources. We want to turn that on. We'll click it again, turn it on. Now at this point, let's click our home button on our remote and let's carry us back to the home screen on the Fire Stick. Now this is where we want to install Downloader. Let's go to the search icon and we'll start typing in Downloader. And as you can see, no need to type in the whole word because as I start typing, you see Downloader comes in at the bottom. So we'll just go down and highlight Downloader and we want to click it. And you see it's the first application. We want to click it again. Now we want to download it. So we'll just click on download. As you see, it says downloading. And after downloading, it says installing. And once the installation is done, you'll see open. So once it says open, we want to click on open. Now I am working with the 4K file stick, so it will say allow. If you do not have a 4K, you do not have to worry about this. I just click allow. We we'll click OK. Now, this is what we want to put in, in the, on the URL. We want to put in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash blockader.org. That is the name of the app, Blockader. So we're going to put in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash blockader.org As you can see, I have been blockader.org. Now, as you can see, blockader is not what they see. Um, that would I, that is what I was doing, and I was kept getting the wrong URL. It was not connecting. You already got to have this in right in order for it to work. It is B L O K A D A. It is not B L O C K A D A. So just keep that in mind. You know, you would you, by saying it, you would think it would have the block K you would think it would have a C, but it does not. B L O K A D A. I just want to put that out there because it's easily to think that it do have a C in there and your mind thinking it, you will put that in there. Hey, I've done it and I'm sure other people have done it. Just remember it does not um, have the C in there, okay? So once you have the right URL address in there, we want to highlight go and we'll click it. It will bring us to the Blockader website and we want to go down until we find the right um, the right one for what we are going to install on, which is the fire stick. So we want to go all the way down. I think I went too far. There we go. 
Now, this is the one for the fire stick. You have other ones um, above this for other devices like your phones, tablets, etc. But we do want to um, install Blockader 4 for Android. Make sure you install it in Blockader 4. Okay, we want to just uh, put the mouse cursor on Blockader 4. And you want to click it. And you see, it says file load download is in progress. Now, this is where we want to install. So we'll just go over one, highlight install, and click install. Now, this is where we, we, we um, have a choice to open it. I'll click done. Let's go ahead and click done. We're not going to open it just yet. The reason why we're not opening it, open it just yet, see, we want to delete these right here. And what this is, is deleting the installation files that is not that you do not have to have on your file stick. So when you install these apps and you keep on and keep on installing the app, the installation and uh, installation file builds up on your file stick. And already the file stick does not have a lot of room as it is. So we, we don't want to put it in an installation files on there if we don't have to. Okay, so we're just going to delete it. It's not deleting the app. It's just deleting the installation files, unnecessary, unnecessary files that we do not ha um, have to have on our file stick because if you keep on, and keep on installing these apps on your file stick without deleting the installation files. You'll soon get a low storage on your file stick. And then you'll have to find a way to clear out some of that storage space. So we want to delete. And so this is what we want to do. We do not want to install it again because it's already installed on our file stick. We we'll click the home button on our remote. We we'll go down to find your apps and channels. And we want to see all of them. And anytime you just you install an app, it will always be at the bottom of all your other apps. So once once we get to this um, right here with a preview of all our apps, our pre-installed apps, we want to go all the way down. And as I say, it will always be at the bottom. So what we want to do, let's go ahead and move this up to the front. We want to click our three lines on our remote. And it's giving these options to move, move to the front or uninstall. Let's move it to the front. So once we got moved to the front, highlight it. We'll just click on it and move it to the front. Click our home button on our remote. And as you can see, up under your apps and channels, it'll be right there. Whenever you turn on your file stick, you don't have to click anything. You don't have to go searching for it. You just go down on your apps and channels, and it'll be the first app on your file stick. So now what we want to do, now let's open it. So we'll click it. As you can see, blockade of four. See blockade is saying it is deactivated. So it is not activated as of now. We got to do a couple of things before we activate it, okay? So we'll just go down. You don't go side to side. Just go down and then go to each section. Add blocking is deactivated. So what we want to do, we want to click on that. Blockade is paused. So what we want to do, we want to click it. Now this will come up. Blockader wants to set up a VPN connection that allows it to monitor network traffic. Only accept if you trust the source. Appears at the top of your screen when VPN is active. And I do not have a VPN, but um, you still have to click OK. Because I'm going to tell you why. If you click Cancel, it will not work. I'm going to show you that how it will not work if you click Cancel. I click Cancel. And then this will come up. Please grant VPN permissions. And you got to click OK. See, it's saying that you have to grant permissions for the VPN, whether you have a VPN or not. But it is a trusted service. I've been using this, you know, for some time. And it's, 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 it's nothing wrong with it. So there's no virus or anything like that. But it's a good app to um, block out those annoying ads. Because you go to something else, you see, blockade go right back to power. So what we want to do, I want to click on again. And let's just click OK. And as you can see, ad blocking is active. If you go back, um, block, blockader is active. And it will start working. And it will let you know how many is blocked since, since whatever such date or whatever. Um, I don't have any, but it will start working. And maybe one or two here and there will start popping up as far as well, block since such and such date. Um, but it, it works really well. Um, you go on your websites, you don't have to worry about you know, these annoying ads, you know, popping up when you're streaming on some of your websites. Um, you get a lot of annoying ads. Um, but even if you do not want to um, click on this, I'm give you a little bit of advice. Do not, um, sometimes you click on them ads, they get you to buy stuff 
you know, saying that you warn this or warn that, and that's for your information. Do not ever give your information out over the fire stick, okay? Do not ever give out information over a fire stick. When you see the ad saying that you want something, they need your card information, do not give your information out, okay? That is very dangerous. But um, blockade will block a lot of those ads. I'm not saying it's 100%, but it's a good percentage. It's very high. The percentage is very high that it will block those annoying ads um, on, for most of those these websites that have ads. So right now, we just click the home button on our remote. And then it carries back to the home screen. And as I said, um, Blockado up under your apps and channel. We already moved it. It is the first app up under your apps and channels. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the link below. I try my best to get back and answer every comment. Unfortunately, sometimes I do miss a comment here and there. I try not to. Um, but I will try my best to answer um, any question that you may have. Or, or we can comment about this if you like. But as I always say, please like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to receive my weekly videos. I hope you have a great day. God bless.